rain tonight, but with any luck, we should be able to finish corn chopping for the day. They called me over from Hall and Manure because they needed an expert dump truck driver. Just kidding, I was the only one available, so. I'm driving truck today. It's not even my regular truck. I had an airline leak in that. We were too busy going to stop and fix that, so I jumped in another truck. This is a Mac uh, Superliner, I think it is. This truck was actually originally a semi, and we had an older international truck that had a blown motor in it. We had an old Detroit in it, and uh, we chopped the box off that one. We extended the frame on this one, and turned it into a dump truck. And honestly, it probably should have just stayed a semi. It's got an air ride cab that is shot, so the whole time you're just in here bouncing. And it's kinda flexible, the frame. I mean, it's solid, but you can feel it twist. It, it is what it is, it's a farm truck. Uh, but other than that, this thing has got power beyond what we'll ever need it to do, so that's handy. Well, that was a very short day of chopping. I did not even get one load, and we broke down. We were actually broke down from... Today's Monday, we were broke down Sunday late because one of our gathering chains on the head blew apart. So we got a new one early this morning. We just put it on, it's 11.30. I'm gonna have to run an hour away to get a new one to match the new one we just put on because the space, our other ones are so wore out. The spacing's different, so every 12 revolutions, those two chains make together, their teeth don't line up anymore and this year's a pen. And that was such a fun job doing that one this morning. I can't wait to do another one. Well, it's now 2.30. We had to put the other gathering chain on, which pretty much involved tearing the whole head apart to do because they're endless. I don't know why, if you would have just put a connector link, it would have taken all 10, 15 minutes. But why do anything that makes sense? Colt bumped his head. He got a popsicle. So it's 2.30 and we're gonna start chopping. And I think it's supposed to rain at seven, so if we go really, really, really hard, we can be done, but I'm doubting it. It looks like we're gonna get rained out for a couple days and then have to finish half a day afterwards, which sucks, but it is what it is. Load one, going in. Well, I'm headed in with the last load. Can't even see the chopper back there, but he's back there. We didn't get it all chopped today. Unless all of a sudden two people want to show up and help, but this lead is doubtful, so. We're gonna get rained out. Probably, and uh, we'll have to wait two days and then chop five now, two to five loads. That'll be done. It kind of sucks to have an almost full mile get rained on, but it is what it is. I don't, uh, I don't cuss the rain. It might get real annoying when it doesn't stop, but I'd rather have too much than not enough because that's that's just a bad time. You want to see something kind of neat? That's pretty neat. All these misconceptions about dairy farmers being mean to their animals. We just give them piggyback rides. That's it. You want to say hi? Yeah. Found another one. We're taking a little four wheeler ride together. Yeah, it uh, stormed pretty good here.
We're, we still ain't done. That's my girl. It's upside down. Good thing it didn't hit the wife's car. And I looked outside the shed and it's actually getting fairly dry out. So we're gonna go try to bring in the last four or five loads. I don't know, it's gonna, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna to stay on top of the hill because these dump trucks, they are not off-road trucks by any means and they get stuck fairly easy so if we keep them out of the woods that'd be a good day and we kind of got a lot of short rows and stuff like that that take a lot longer to chop and basically I don't need to be back and forth super fast I can just go out get a load Take my sweet time getting back out there. He might not even have a load ready by the time I get back from this, so we'll uh, we'll see. My co-pilot's been being pretty naughty today, and I had to finally give him a popsicle just to keep him quiet. Yeah, you're a turd. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we have a pretty big load on here. There's a lot of silos back there. We're running the uh, one man hauling. The same guy packing thing today. It's kind of loud in here, my air don't work. But thank God the window is open. Well, there's two loads in. Well, let's go get another one. Kicking up dust by no means, but it ain't really too slippery and sliding around. I'm getting around all right. I ain't gonna try to go down into that lower strip because I don't think that'll. No, I don't want to risk it. I'm pretty sure he'll have about a full load by the time I get over there, and probably one more after that. I figure this stuff will fit in. So really, really close. Alrighty, hopefully on the way to get the last load. Hopefully this truck holds together long enough to get there. Last load of corn chopping. She wrote. Good deal. Good job done. I haven't got a new paint job on my windshield or hood. Booyah. You know, I'd much rather be driving the old white dump truck, but this one is kind of cool. She 
really likes blowing the smoke. And I'm gonna pass this guy. What a clown. We've been so focused on chopping corn, I don't even know what we're gonna do now. Just wander around lost until winter time. <laughs> we're just kidding. Awesome. First of all, I'd really like to get this fourth crop made before it gets too cold and there's kind of a window when you don't want to cut alfalfa late in the fall like this because it's actually sending a bunch of nutrients down into its roots that help it come back for next year. So you want to let, let it take care of its root system so you get good regrowth. You don't lose a bunch of plants over winter. So we're going to going to kind of have to check out see how that's growing uh, get that hay made um, actually the hay on the three home farms here hopefully get all that made all this corn chopped ground has to get absolutely buried in cow manure to put some nutrients back into the soil it's kind of a full circle thing you make feed for the cows then they turn it into manure and you bring it back out to the field. A lot of give and take in farming. 